Good afternoon. Well, today I have a quite unbelievable wine. That is to say, it's unbelievable for me. Now, I haven't had a wine, a white wine from Greece before. So, here we are. Futuri. Mosho Falero. 2022 Troopis Winery. 12%. And it's a vegan. Well, that's about it. It's a refreshing white wine with a lovely floral bouquet of night-blooming jasmine rose and citrus fruits in a sharp taste. Delightful as aperitif and accompaniment to pasta with basil, cream sauces and grilled seafood. But I thought to myself, what's the best white wine to have with triple chocolate ice cream? Uh, chocolate brownie, sliced strawberries, and a tremendous amount of grated dark chocolate. <clears throat> and I just put some sugar stars over that, you know, to be completely and utterly Saturday afternoon hedonistic. Yeah, Marvellous. <clears throat> I mean, you know, there must be some purpose for them making these things, mustn't there? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on open with the Futuri. And we see, you know, these wonderful indigenous grapes, which are just, you know, waiting to be explored. No idea what it's going to lend its allegiance to, as it were. It's a bit of bracken on the, on the label there. Right. <clears throat> Fantastic looks. Really, really, really lovely sort of pear gold. Very robust, strong, sort of pine needle smell. Yeah, this seems to be, like, you know, it's got a lot of promise, so let's have a quaff. quite a wine and a half you know I'd say it's more mineral than floral or fruit it's got some sort of golden apricot and gold dust notes about it it's a, not a million miles away from the Torontes of Argentine It just doesn't have that immediate exotic fruit, but there is a little tiny bit of suggestion of some melon, nectarine, pineapple, banana. It's quite quite a tang to it, but it softens, you know, on the finish. It, it is a really magnificent texture. Certainly a new one on me, but it's going to be really, really good with the um, chocolate ice cream because, you know, it's just going to set off those sweet flavours brilliantly. So, um, you know, the thing is, it takes it takes a bottle, doesn't it, over a couple of days. I like to open a couple of bottles so that I've got a couple of, you know, contrasting wines over a couple of days to see what I think about a new wine. And I don't judge wine too hastily. It's easy to say, oh, I could live without that. But, um, you know, the point is to try and broaden your wine repertoire as far as you can. So you've always got something interesting in for your guests. That's kind of my, my idea. I mean, you know, this, like they said, I mean, this would be absolutely brilliant with uh, cheesy pasta that's got a ton of parmesan on because it would definitely cut through that. It's very much such a staunch white wine that it's ready to cut through difficult dishes. So I bought this particular wine. This was from Naked Wines. And they're getting more and more of a fantastic, um, you know, array of world wines this isn't their only greek wine by any means and they have moldova and romanian wines as well and virgin wines also are really coming on there um 
Lafeweights wines have been, you know, staunch leader in the Eastern European market for years. But um, yeah, this is, I mean, I would say you might like this if you like Alberino, Torontes, uh, Vermentino, possibly. Um, a really, you know, hard hitting Rioja white. Bianco is it? No, I don't know. I forget all these names. How am I supposed to remember? Um, it, it's a pretty hefty, classy wine for sure. It's, there's nothing sort of cheap and cheerful about it. It's just so unlike the general run of grapes that you get day in day out. Um, that it is very, very difficult to pinpoint. It has a very definite flavour, slightly, slightly turning towards pine. Um, but, you know, it, I think most people would really quite enjoy this. Very light overtones of um, viola varnish and gooseberry. It's so unusual, I can't find a great deal to describe it with but uh, you know pretty pretty tasty sort of things out of nature on the vegetable front and um, a good bit of minerality you know it's got some stone in there it's a pretty blockbusting fantastic wine really it's just so unusual that I you know I'm not going to go oh yeah it's my new favorite but uh, definitely worth looking into. So that's Futuri Mosho Falero 2022, 12%. Pretty good. Very, very interesting find. The other one that I've got open at the moment is a South African Chenin Blanc. So they're definitely going to contrast to one another but um, this is yeah this is very much a, a foody wine and it's picked up as a savoury foods but I think it's going to work really well with the chocolate I think it's going to be absolutely perfect so you know what I'm really saying here is this was Naked Wines um, get into a club because you are going to find much more exquisite wines at a much better price I promise and um just really get out there there's a world of wine out there you know don't just stick with the first two great varieties you come to don't just go for the cheap one that you buy every weekend you know because it's on offer or whatever really try and broaden your palate by exploring some new countries new great varieties and particularly interesting new food pairings okay this one, of course, would go fantastically with some nice classical guitar music. 